Camera Raw 8 now offers the ability to carry out auto perspective corrections in an image. And to show you how, it's, how it works, I've got a photograph here that was shot of the Tower of London. And uh, to show you the controls, if we come over here to the lens correction panel, you can see that in Camera Raw 8 there are three panel sections. The manual, which includes the new upright controls as well as the old uh, transform adjustments. And then there is a color panel where you can choose to remove the color uh, chromatic aberrations as well as the fringe controls. And then a profile tab where you can apply lens profile corrections. Now to work with the upright um, controls, it's a good idea to make sure that the image is uh, corrected first of all using a lens profile correction. So if I just disable this, you can see there's the before and there's the after. So the key thing here is, is that the image is geometrically corrected using a lens profile correction before you attempt to try and apply uh, a perspective correction using upright. So now let me go and click over on the manual tab and um, the controls that we have are these four buttons here and one can click on any one of these buttons to apply an adjustment but the important thing to point out here is, is that if I just click on the auto button for example you'll see that it undoes the crop that had been previously applied to an image. So if I undo that, you can see there was the image cropped. And if I select the crop tool here, you can see there's the crop that was active. So selecting any one of these options will automatically undo the crop and then apply the auto correction, the auto perspective correction to it. And the same is true as well. If you have any of the adjustments applied here, let me just cancel out of that. Let me apply a vertical manual adjustment and horizontal adjustment and then click on say the full button you see that it applies the adjustment but it undoes the transform adjustments that are also there at the same time and that's the only way that it can really effectively apply one of these auto perspective corrections so I've already shown you a couple of the options there and the fact that you can undo by clicking on the cancel button so let me just go through these one by one the auto correction might be a good adjustment to choose. Um, go with that one first of all and see what it produces. This produces a balance of the three other controls, i.e. a full level adjustment combined with a vertical adjustment and also a horizontal adjustment. And it decides how to blend those together. It's not exactly the same as applying a full adjustment and it does tend to be slightly more constrained compared to working with the full uh, correction because it doesn't necessarily always reveal transparent pixels when you do it. It tries to um, provide an image which is um, nicely cropped without too strong an effect. So that's the auto adjustment there. Then if I click on the level then all this does is it tries to apply a full level correction to the image to straighten out the horizon but it doesn't attempt to correct for the verticals in the photograph. And then if I click on the vertical correction, <clears throat> this applies a level adjustment combined with a vertical adjustment that attempts to correct for the keystoning in an image. And then you can see in this instance that it has actually ended up revealing transparent areas down the sides, down here. So in Camera 8, there, uh, there is now the ability to um, preserve transparency and this will become apparent if I were to click on the Save Image button down here and to export this out as a TIFF or a PSD file from Camera Raw for further editing in Photoshop. So the transparent checkerboard pattern that you see here, this will be preserved in the PSD or the TIFF, TIFF file that you create. If on the other hand I was to export using the JPEG format, since JPEG doesn't support transparency then you'll just see a grey pasteboard area down the sides in the image that you render assuming that is that you don't crop it. So then we come to the full option and in this instance it doesn't actually make too much difference between the vertical that I just selected. The full, as I mentioned earlier, tends to be a stronger adjustment than the uh, auto correction and this will apply um, a full adjustment to correcting both the verticals, the levels and also the uh, horizontal lines in a picture and will be sometimes slightly stronger. Then I think out of all of the options that I've chosen so far, the um, vertical I think was probably the one that I like best. Now you can check the, 
the, uh, the effectiveness of uh, an adjustment by clicking on the show grid option at the bottom and this overlays the image with a grid that you can adjust in size so that I can scale it down or scale it up and use this to be able to help check the lines in the image with the grid and you can see indeed that by applying this uh, vertical adjustment that the vertical lines in the tower match exactly to the lines in the grid but the problem with architectural photography being corrected like this is that if you aim to try and correct too perfectly the result that you end up with doesn't look really too natural so I think in, an ins in this instance it looks like the image is almost going to fall down on top of you because it's, it's too perfectly straight so you will often find that it's quite a good idea to tweak the manual transform sliders and apply usually a plus 10 or thereabouts adjustment just to take those vertical lines so just to take the vertical lines in slightly so I think you'll agree that with this correction that I've applied which I can perhaps now switch the grid off for with this adjustment the perspective looks a bit more natural with the vertical lines converging not as much as they did perhaps originally in the, in the original photograph that I started out with then I could also maybe adjust the horizontal transform I could add that but I won't in this instance I think that the rotate might help slightly so I'm just going to rotate it around just a fraction there and then there's a scale slider that we can use to make the to adjust the scale of the image which can perhaps help dealing with the, like the issues to do with transparency and then we also have an aspect slider and this allows you to control how much the verticals or the horizontal lines and the sorry the horizontal perspective in the image is squashed and I find this useful because when you apply a perspective correction as I've shown here it does change the overall shape of the image and so you can use the aspect slider to compensate for that and just really use your own judgment to decide how much is appropriate to be able to preserve a more natural looking perspective in the image and that really I think is probably good enough I think for all the controls I've applied an automatic verticals correction I've applied a few manual tweaks using the transform slider and I think to finish off here I just need to crop the image again so if I select the crop tool let me just decide how much top and bottom I'd like to crop the photograph here and then you'll notice that because I've got the constraint to image option selected it automatically snapped to inside the uh, transparency uh, borders so that when I click now on say the hand tool you can see that the image is neatly cropped but excludes the transparent areas that are on the outside so that completes this particular tutorial showing you how to work with the upright controls I think you'll find it's a really useful way to correct the perspective automatically in your images within Camera Raw